You can go anywhere, everywhere. A lot of places. Yeah. 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 A lot of places. Very sturdy. You made it this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Are we... you a carpenter or something? My mom is a carpenter. Your mom? Yeah. So I'm an you're electrician. She's the smart one. Yeah, she we we basically designed this and cut all the wood down, built it, we did all the laminate, all the Wow. It's an electric cooler. So mm -hmm. it runs off. We have uh two batteries in the truck and then we have mm -hmm. solar panels too. You have solar panel. Yeah, and if I have six hours of sunlight, mm -hmm. I can keep this refrigerator running forever. Wow. I just need nice. six hours a day of sunlight. Yeah, good. So, yeah, we went all the way up to uh, cool. the Arctic Ocean. We, we you up. went to Alaska. Yep. With uh, this. Yeah, that's that's why we built this. Wow. We took two months off of work. She, <laughs> I wish she could have gone. She's oh. just yeah, eleven thousand miles in a car is a lot for her. But uh, it was a how lot. long? Two you months. went two months. Yeah, two months. And we wow. went all the way through Canada, Alaska, hmm. and then came back through Canada through the national parks in Canada. Uh, my favorite is the bread box, so I don't crush my bread. See, okay. This is this is my favorite because mm, wow. and then you know we keep our food in here. It's kind of messy right now. Dishes in here, and then uh, and then of course since we like to go out and go off road, mm -hmm. this is all your recovery gear, all your straps and winch lines wow. and, and stuff like that, jumper cables. Yeah. We get stuck actually. We use these the most. Oh yeah. These these will get you out of sand. You have of... all the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. We... For emergency. Yeah. Here. What are all these stickers? Oh, that's all the national parks that we went to. So this is like Olympic National Park. Sorry, Washington. Yeah. Arches National Park, Death Valley. Ah. Um Lake Mead's around here somewhere. And you have propane gas tank oh, on the roof. <laughs> yep. And then we usually have gas cans and water cans on the top up there, but we didn't need them. We we're just going down this far, so. Wow, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So uh, next year, maybe the year after next year, we're going to do it again, but we're going to do the uh, the Canadian side. We're going to go all the way up to Tuk 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 because that's at least that's a, a village up there. You know, like mm -hmm. that's the only bummer is you drive through all of Alaska and it's so beautiful. And then you get up to the Arctic Ocean and it's just oil refineries everywhere. So yeah. it's a fun time. Um, Much beautiful than here. It's different. Mm -hmm. Beautiful desert. You know, I can yeah. take you to some amazing places in the desert out here um, for years we've been out here exploring petroglyphs um, you know like all the native Indian writings on the walls mm -hmm. and stuff um, uh, hot springs there's you know you would think in the desert there's not much but there's really a lot well here right. you can get views too like yeah. the sunrise and the sunsets mm -hmm. are amazing here yeah. you rarely actually see the sun set you know right so, exactly yeah we, we love the desert it's there's a bomber at the bottom of the lake here that crashed. And Are you kidding me? Really? Uh, it crashed into the lake and sunk, and but it sunk intact. So the wings are still on it. Uh, yeah, there's there's also a town underneath the water here, a small town, St. Really? Thomas. Yeah, yeah. It was here before they built the lake, and mm -hmm. then when they flooded the lake. You're uh, native here. Yeah. You're a native. I've been here almost all my life. My dad worked at the Whoa. dam. My parents still live here, so I moved around a little bit, but uh, I always come back, you know, it's home. You love your hometown. Yeah. Now, I used to live here when this lake was full, though. The white, the line? Yeah, that's where the water used to be. It's calcium, uh, uh. calcium deposits from mm. the water. Uh-huh. So, back in the 80s, um, that's how full the lake was. Mm -hmm. We would have been like 120 yeah. feet underneath the water. The yeah, water. it's only about, I think it's... 40% full right now. It, this water comes from two different watersheds. You have the Colorado River, which mm -hmm. um, starts in Wyoming. Uh, Wyoming. There's some big fish in here. Mm -hmm. There's a story about a uh, catfish. Catfish, yeah. And they say it lives by the dam over here in the really deep water. And they say it's as big 
as like a, a VW bus. So maybe about the same size as my car. No way. Yeah. No and way. I thought we, you know, it, people always say, you know, is it real? Is it not real? No. And I met a guy who's a diver mm -hmm. and he cleans uh, the grates on the dam. So they have to go and they, where the water goes out of the dam, uh, debris gets up there. So and oh. one of the things they have to do is they have to carry this underwater shotgun. Mm -hmm. So in case a fish ever... They don't, they won't eat you, but if they think your food, like the fish will put its mouth on you. Oh my. But because it's so big, no. they have to use a shotgun and shoot the fish. So it could be real because they, wow. they make the divers carry wow. a gun underneath the water wow. in sense. case yeah. that big fish comes and gets them. <laughs> Bye.